The air we breathe is incredibly dynamic. It's filled with all sorts of molecules. It's always moving. And often, it's literally full of life. Most of the time, we can't see what's in the atmosphere. And even when we can see it, looks can be deceiving. Take sunsets. A colorful New York skyline can actually be traced back to the smoke from a California wildfire. And that smoke is filled with pollutants like ozone gas, formaldehyde, and fungal spores that could impact our health. Plus, it has bits of everything that burned in the wildfire's path, like tiny particles from trees, infrastructure, and all the synthetic materials that we keep in our homes. So how might this smoke endanger the air we breathe? And what can we do about it? Smoke contains chemical pollutants, and emerging research shows that it also carries thousands of species of microbes like bacteria and mold. These microorganisms that survive a wildfire grab onto particulates in the smoke. So wildfire smoke, when we inhale it, uh, the really small particles, the PM2.5 and smaller, goes all the way down to the base of our lungs and is small enough to cross over into the bloodstream. Once it's in the bloodstream, it can go throughout the body causing problems. Smoke is a visible and urgent reminder that the air we breathe is filled with both essential elements and invisible threats to our health. And it likes to wander. The wind blows and you never know if you're gonna be in the path of um, wildfire smoke blowing your way. Scientists can track the smoke as it rides the wind across the globe and contaminates the air across continents. Those particles, as they travel, they age. And when they age, they become more toxic to our health. We can't live in a bubble, so what can people do to breathe easier with the air we've got? Okay, all right, I'll, I'll just take it from the top. Up until now, we've just had filters that uh, collect pollutants on the surface of these fabrics, whereas what we do with PICO is we both capture and destroy these pollutants. Molecule tests have shown how PICO air purification technology breaks down pollutants at the molecular level. This includes viruses, bacteria, mold, allergens, and chemicals. But what is PICO? PICO works by using light to power a chemical reaction that breaks down and destroys pollutants as they come through the device and interact with our PICO filter. In our daily life, we have to think about how to reduce the amount of dangerous materials in our indoor air. Air quality has a really intimate impact in our lives. We breathe over 20,000 times a day, yet we rarely think how clean is the air that's actually going into my lungs. All the air we inhale is a dynamic, complex mixture of molecules. And by paying closer attention to air quality in our cities and homes, we can start to see clearly and breathe easier. <laughs>